Hey guys, I am going to do a quick wrap up on what all I have been working on this week. Um, they call this Ashtama Siddhi. That is, you work with different, different topics to bring it to the next level. So, and um, I'm going to wrap up uh, some. Uh, which my teacher started yesterday. I am so thrilled he came back and he's doing summer sessions that I uh, told somebody that I'll do a YouTube video on what he shared in the satsang. There were two satsang that was done mm. one is yesterday and today. So this is two satsang. So I'm going to kind of wrap it, wrap both together and in future probably I'll do like Vakyata, so that so that like like you know, give a gist of what was discussed, and we use it in our limbic therapy. I'm a recovery coach. Limbic therapy, recovery coaching is what I do with my patients. So I will tell you is how I'm using. The other thing I'm focusing on because of the uh, financial crisis and stuff, like you know. So, how to like you know focus on growing our own money and I'm using a system that I'll discuss. That's my second topic. The third topic is there's an energy portal that's opening tomorrow, 8 30, 2019 at 4.49 p.m. in United States. And I think it'll be in India, 8.31. Let me see the world clock because it should be if it is 4.49 p.m. It'll be 12 uh, uh, hours ahead for you guys. And in India, it'll be 8.31. So three hours behind you guys are. So it'll be three, uh, three hours behind and ahead. Right. Four through two. So if it is 4.59, it'll be two. I mean, three, two, one. One, it's like, like around like two o'clock in the midnight, it will be for you guys. I think, so anyway, that's the energy portal, and I'll tell you all three what is happening. So, the first topic is what is the Tamil satsang about? And I'll also share it both in Tamil and in um, English. Um, and my Tamil is like, you know, like all mixed up, I'm not like pure Tamil and I also speak a little bit because I was raised by a Brahmin family when I was a young girl. So um, I have like some sort of a colloquial Tamil that's different from me, what you guys speak. But I don't follow any of the Brahmin tradition anyway. Um, so what he essentially discussed yesterday was uh, the gist, I'm going to just say the gist, is that we have four parts to our existence. One is pindam, that is matter, you know, like in India, they call it pindanda, right? Um, so pinda means like the flesh, flesh and pound, which is the matter, which is pure energy body. And it's fed by environment and what we eat and other stuff, that is 25%. And the second thing is, so the body needs, like, you know, the cravings and all the other stuff. The second part is manas. We call it manas. And it's not mind as we think. It is actually a combination of a primitive response to information we gather. That is limbic system, which uh, it's a gut reaction, we call it, right? So it is in um, Brahmins, they call it Shimshumara. That is, it's considered an inverted dolphin that's held in the eye of the dolphin, sits on the belly of Vishnu, and actually it's a misentric uh, anchor in medical terms, and it's sympathetic nervous system. So like how fight, flight response and all. So it's like a gut reaction. We primitively respond. And uh, if you understand Shakti Peet, one of the Shakti Peet for uh, Earth is Klimbija Padamik Yuktam Shakti.
these two bhuvaneshwar so like when you when you stand literally like you know we will stand like this so the place where the thumb meets on the back behind the belly belly area is where the anchor of um, mesentric area is and that is the storehouse of our energy it's called second brain and in india they call it shim shumara s h i m s u s h u m r a and there are a lot of um, information on it with ancient sastras and stuff and that's the way the uh, vishnu tracks us he just keeps us as close to his belly as possible and emotionally also that's our emotional uh, cord you know the umbilical cord anchors in the space behind in the liver and that energetically appears like a pink rice like pearl on master chava said so the for the karma the matter like i said it's the physical heart there is a rice like Uh, space in the heart that holds the physical karma emotional limbic system is uh, the, near the liver which is like the like i said shimshamara and the third one he said an osh how is this uh, manas is operating is what we gather as logical information it's like uh, he calls it like horizontal and what we visualize and what we perceive it creates the limbic response and that is 25% and then the third piece is intuitive intelligence so like putting it all together coming up with the, our past experience with these so we create a relationship which is buddhi so siddham is the emotional brain buddhi so according to ancient tradition ganesh had both siddha siddham and buddhi as his uh, sisters because siddham siddha lakshmi is his sister they are saying buddhi is another piece he is committed to which is intuitive intelligence so ganesh uh, like uh, swami ji swami trinity has permission he said there is really a being ganesh in kailasha who has eleven him and if you call him om gam ganapati namaha hi lakhiya i was given a uh, lakshmi ganesh entra by one of my friend she went to india and she got all some entras and i think she said she didn't know how to use them and give it to me i used to have it in my office and i was not honoring it so i gave it to shiva temple but i kind of missed it because it was with me from 2006 until by rap took it over in 2019 i think i must have donated it this year but my heart was craving for it and when the minute i thought about it you know what happened ganesh opened up his energy but i think he was so kind and it felt almost like uh, because ganesh has pasam and angusam pasham Pashangusham looks like like a thread with the emotional connection. So he connects with that with that with us in the limbic system. So I felt a big ray of um, electricity like thing coming out of the temple in my mind in Nagashi training, and it went into my tips of the fingers. it almost felt like vitruvian man how he connects so my triad was completed so varahi also gave me a darshan in 2014 she came like a air hostess she asked me to redesign and that's why my logo is yes, varahi intra and uh, arhampul and uh, umatambu that is what uh, ganesh loves so like i was like <laughs> I used to have a scarf. I was looking for it, and I couldn't find it. That's why I'm wearing this polka dot, a green thing, to signify the um, umatambu. You know, so that's the reason I wore. But anyway, so that's the third piece. He said, and the last piece is soul. The simple truth: the soul um, rejoices in. 
So he says our purpose is to cut down a little bit on the matter, manas and buddhi and grow the soul deep. That's the way I got it. Okay. And um, he did like the whole sermon in English yesterday. So he kind of re-explained it another way. And this was yesterday's Tamil satsang. And then today morning, Swamiji came and, and also he kind of said about diet too. He said, originally Sudhak Vaita Saivam. Saivam means, Saivam means vegetarian. And uh, so he was saying, when people hear what I say, is they immediately say, oh, is that what you want for me to become vegetarian? And then they kind of like have cravings and like, you know, they haven't really resolved those issues. And he says, unless like you really understand the purpose behind it, because it's not only about the diet, it's about like our aggression, attitude and stuff. He says, learn why I'm saying it and then do it the right way. And I had a previous teacher, Mr. Chalkup, so he says, it's not what you put in your body. It's how you speak that makes you vegetarian or not. So that's the way I connected it. Because like when Swamiji does satsang, there are tons of people who will get on his satsang and they'll be very rude. And that's a very demonic behavior. And there will be some people trying to correct them. You never correct a demon. You never correct a mentally ill people because they are at a very different track. So I think best is to just ignore them. And... Um, that's why I actually disabled comments on my YouTube video because I feel like, you know, I am sharing my strength and hope, like 12 step. And it, you can share and you can create your own YouTube post. Like, you know, I feel personally, I don't need validation. But if I served a purpose, I'm grateful to you. If I didn't, it's okay. Like, you know, you got what you wanted. And I got what I wanted to say. So that's the first part of the satsang. The second one is, today he shared that the original language, Tamil, was called Tamiri, but it started with Prakritam. That's why, like, you know, see, I work with energy, and Lakshmi is my spirit mother. And she said she loves Sri Sukta. She asked me to recite it. I used to recite it in the past. But I stopped. So in that, it there is a sentence that says, Prakritim Vikritim Vidya Sarva Bodha Hida Pradam Ch Chandra uh, Hiran Mayim Lakshmi Nitya Bushtam Vibhashini. I think so, but like I might be screwing up. But so Prakritim Vikritim Vidya. So the original language Swamiji said is called Prakriti. Prakriti is Tamili. And he said it's actually a twin language because Tamil, Tamil was a different type of pronunciation. So the people came up with a language that is creating a kridam that is equal in weight. So it's called samaskridam. So samaskrita was to equalize some of the um, verbalization issues with Tamil. So they became a twin language. They were equal. But eventually, because of politicians and like, you know, ruling and stuff, we lost the concept. And I was listening to Chola because see, Varahi came because I think I might have some sort of a Chola connection. And Chola kings used to pray to Varahi. And one of the Chola kings, I think who did the uh, temple, I forgot he got cursed because he was asked to use Tamil and for some reason he degraded the language or something and so he is he was not allowed to enter through the main sanctum or some some weird thing they were discussing Karur they call it Karurar that was the uh, advisor for the Chola King and he, he incurred the curse and Something happened. I have no idea. Like, I didn't follow that video, but anyway, maybe I'll go back and look at it. So this is what spiritually Swamiji was telling today, like how the terrorist is essentially the bullies kind of dismantle both Samskritam and Tamar. So we lost both language. And 
you know, so that was pretty interesting. And then he was telling about, like, you know, just to be simple, simple and integrated to the soul and the highest truth is enough. And he says, like, you know, when I give you some advice, know that I'm doing it for the right reason and just follow it, even though you don't understand it. And eventually you'll get it. You know, he says, just take, like, it's like, Almost in uh, business world also, they say, surround yourself with people smarter than you, right? So that way you will get to the next level. If you're surrounding yourself with morons, you're going to be a moron. You know, that's just a word, like what he said today. And then, what's my next agenda I was speaking about? Um, I think I should go back and watch my own video. <laughs> Uh, that was my wrap up for for spirituality and about wealth building the one thing I'm focusing on is debt management because one of the things I'm listening to all the Tariq's world uh, financial crisis and other stuff and there is a biggest uh, dispute going between China and America and what it is the central banks are running the show and um, there was a point of view by some YouTube artist who said that central bank essentially right right now I heard it's negative uh, uh, interest rates in America so that is going to create devaluation of US dollars like you know we are going to hit the worst before we get better so what would that mean is the central banks is waiting out so they can buy in wholesale all these uh, distress sales and then only they'll correct the market and that's that's really sad but unfortunately that's the truth so to be smart invest in your own debt so i have an account called Wealthiness Unlimited, W-E-A-L-T-H-Y-N-E-S-S Unlimited, U-N-L-I-M-I-T-E-D dot com. Go watch this video. It step by step tells how to invest in our own mortgage. Don't get involved with stock market. Right now we are going to go through a downhill before we come up. So invest in your own debt, get out of debt. So the need to make money will be less. Become your own boss, which uh, Swamiji advised. And then you use the same system to make money. You know, you can make, you can, instead of paying 30 years and, like, you know, paying the software costs $3,000. Paying $3,000 to save $100,000 is smarter than paying $100,000 to save $3,000, right? So that's my second agenda I'm working with. And then the third agenda. Um, I do have cryptocurrency which I am looking into and I already invested in London based uh, company called Profit Coins thank god like you know they had a promotion last year we could get it in with $100 now I think it's at least 500 um, um, Great Britain uh, like in a pound so but it's worth it because right now you can get it wholesale, like, you know, Bitcoin and stuff. And it allows the money to be swept every day and you make profit every day. I started with $100, now it's like $500. Today the Bitcoin is low, but it's okay because eventually the cash system is going to fail. And so I have profit coins and I have Coinbase, which is like dollar cost averaging, I'm putting in $10 every other week and I'm investing in Bitcoin, Ethereum $10 once a month. That's a very small amount, but over time it will be. I have tried everything, okay? I have done stock markets, options, futures, forex, finally, and also e-currency exchange, DXN1, I did like, you know, a huge investment. Everything, like, you know, kind of went up and down real estate I've done but I think I'm gonna uh, give my attention to cryptocurrencies I'm with Palm, Palm Beach International they're a research group in Florida 
and I'm one of their member. We do annual fee, like you know, we charge us twenty five hundred dollars. I've been with them for two years, and, and Tika Tiwari is excellent. He gives very nice advice, and I used his advice. I started my portfolio just with uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, with Coinbase. And I feel like, you know, that's enough for me just to be like, you know, dipped into the system. So with that, Coin Market is another app I use to monitor my portfolio with profit coins and Coinbase. And I watch it every day. And it's so much fun, you know, so much fun. And, and then um, you can go adjust if in case you want more. I do have dollar cost averaging with another company which used to be Share Builder or ING Direct, and I moved it to another company. And so with that, MCO came with a card, crypto.com, they came up with a Kirk card. So I ordered my free card and I even loaded it, like, you know, so you can convert your cryptocurrency and I might do it with my profit coin since I have $500. I'll move $200, which is the minimum you need to do and you can use your cryptocurrency to pay for your basic needs per month and then build on your debt management. So I will be putting it together as an agenda as well. The last piece I want to share is 8.30-2019. There's an energy forum that's opening at 4.49 p.m. This was taught by Agastya. Okay, It's called So 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 Does a Kala. Sodasam is 16th wealth or 16th. 16th art or 16th wealth. Kala is art, right? Art. So Agastir is a great guy. Like uh, when I did energy work with him, somebody introduced him to us with this, this uh, song. Shiva, 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 Hara, 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 Hara. Shiva, 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 Hara, Hara, Hara. Aya, he says, <laughs> um, and it's a very sarcastic song. Like you could see his personality. And I was looking into his yantra. It has like two pyramids. And that's how like, you know, he jumped out. Like, you know, he was hanging, hanging out with me in my porch. And he had a little kid with him. I said, who is this? That's because he's a dwarf. I didn't realize I guess the air was a dwarf. So he had this little one. I think his name is. I wonder if it's Virabhadra. I forgot. Like what's his name is. He, he like carries two mountains in his hands because I guess his job was to bring the mountains down to stabilize south. So I think that was a chore he took. He's brilliant. He's smart. He restored order in forest. That's kind of what Sita did too. She was the mother of the forest. And all those lineage, they connect. Uh, like That's a space I connect with them. And Agastir has like two triangle upwards. And then there is a third triangle that goes up in the middle. And then the, there is one downward triangle that connects it all. So the essence is a fire element with uh, like, you know, um, the upward energy is also like growth. The downward is water. So he stabilized the elements, the forest and the fire element and um, the environment. Okay. But I don't know like the details of his uh, entra. And uh, Lakshmi Ganesha, Siddhi Vinayak, Siddhi Lakshmi also is like, you know, limbic system stabilization. So I kind of connected with them in that level. So one of the things I learned uh, because of Agastya is the 16th art, which is hidden, is only revealed by Agastya, where the new moon, when it ends, this is the uh, tomorrow, 8.32. 2019 is 4.49 p.m. is when the new moon ends and the crescent moon begins at 4.49 p.m. So make sure you had your heart felt desire 
intentionally one hour before and after. So that would be 3.49 p.m. in the United States, Eastern Standard Time, and it ends at 5.49 p.m. Uh, I don't know, you guys have to collect, connect it for Indian time, okay? So these are the three things I'm working on. And I and for health, like if you guys need any questions answered, please go to my, um, my Facebook page is Ask Dr. Cool, A-S-K-D-R-C-O-O-L with the ad sign. You can check me out there or uh, drbrown.me, D-R-B-R-O-W-N.me. I have like answers tons of questions. If you post your question, I will make a YouTube video for you guys and I will podcast. And I hope eventually I'll make like good content for you guys so you'll be able to enjoy and learn something with me. And the other thing I wanted to share with Swamiji, Swamiji released Samraj Lakshmi Titika. Is what he, he see worldwide, right? Many things were lost. And the Samaraja Lakshmi Pitika, which they retrieved, is only up to 216 pages. And Swamiji, through Akashagarka and stuff, already released 532 pages. And in that, one of the things, Samaraja Lakshmi, Samaraja Lakshmi is the emperor who teaches all the kings how to rule better. And one, like there are like two things I can share that came from that. And Samraja Lakshmi, when she goes away, she lets us be babysit, babysat by uh, Ativaradar. So the way she called him was Gachapati. And she threw my energy body at him. And when he was babysitting, his name is Vara Devaraj. So she's like, he's the elephant. We need to step on to go see her right in Kanchi. Anyway, it is fascinating. So he was babysitting me for like, like you know, I don't know where she took off. Like she is Varadoha. She can drive the elephants. But not to digress, Samraja Lakshmi has Purasu. Purasu is like a red color flower with like um, bird like mm, face or rather features. And she says, if you burn Purasu in fire, you can mesmerize the meeting. Like, so essentially, let's say, you know, you have a hot stove and you're doing Purasu, like, like Yanya, and somebody is coming for a business meeting, right? Essentially, they'll be so hooked on. <laughs> and you can really pass over the meeting. That's like essence of what she's teaching. The other thing is when in your fire you use tender mango leaves dipped in milk, she says it purifies that area and it'll make people more focused. The purasu is more for attention and like you know increasing our memory. Mango leaves, which is mercy is to uh, magnetize and lure them into our cause. So like this, Samaraja Lakshmi has revealed so many secrets, which uh, Swamiji has shared through his satsang. And not, I shouldn't say his satsang, his Gurukul Acharya, who is Atma, Atmananda, I think, maybe Atmananda. So I'm hoping I'll help you guys. And then Nadi Vaidyam and Siddhavadi Vaidyam is what I studied, uh, or rather I did research. And I can put it together a package that you would be able to individually, each organ I'll teach you guys, okay? Because I really want to give it back to India what lost all its fortune and who stole from us the whole world. Now Japanese know more about the Nadi Vaidyam than Indians. So my goal is to um, do teaching sessions about that. So 
இது வந்து தமிழ்ல நான் சொல்ல போறேன் தமிழ்ல வந்து நாடி வைத்தியம் பல்ஸ் மெடிசன் நம்ம ஊர்ல எல்லாம் சினிமா பார்த்துட்டு பல்ஸ் பிடிச்சு வெதர் ஏ பிரெக்னன்ட் ஆர் நாட் சே ரைட் சோ ஐ ஆல்வேஸ் யூஸ் டு பி ஃபேஸ்னேட்டட் பை தட் சோ அது வந்து ஜின்ஜின் ஜிட்சுன்னு ஜப்பான்ல சொல்லி தராங்க என்னோட வெப்சைட் நாடி வைத்தியம் dot com i think it is dot com let me make sure the pan information for the group la na d y d m dot com n a d i v a i t h i y a m dot com yes nadi vaidyam dot com adhe enoda book irukku okay நீங்க அங்க போய் பார்த்தா தெரியும் அது டெக்ஸ்ட் புக் அதனாலதான் கிட்டத்தட்ட கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமா நான் தமிழ்லயே சொல்லி தரேன் and english padikiravanga avanga vaangi pochukkanga so this finishes the wrapping up of my youtube sessions which i really wanted to do